There's been a development in a tragic story we first told you about on Wednesday. A dive team is now searching for this woman in one of the rivers that runs through Winnipeg. Lisa Gibson has been missing ever since her two young children were found dead in their home. Cameron McIntosh reports. A makeshift memorial outside the home of two dead children and their missing mother. A story that has gripped this neighborhood and this city. It's just a very sad thing to happen. Yeah. Um, it's sad when it happens anywhere, but when it's so close to home. The mother, Lisa Gibson, was the last to see the children, a three-month-old baby boy and a girl just under two. Gibson has been missing since Wednesday. Shortly after a 911 call from her home, where police found two young kids reportedly in a bathtub in critical condition. They later died. Now the search for Gibson is focusing on the fast-moving Assiniboine River adjacent to her home. It's incumbent upon us to, you know, to explore all avenues in, in our search. And uh, again, I can't reiterate enough that we are hopeful that Ms. Gibson is alive. Officially, police have yet to call Gibson a suspect, but sources confirm her postpartum mental health is a focus of the investigation. In Canada, maternal filicide, mothers killing their children, is rare. Mothers taking their own lives after, even rarer. And according to experts, not well understood. I'm not sure that you can rationalize out how, how this happens. All it is is that it's very serious and people do need to get care right away. At a vigil for the family last night, many were trying to make sense of this through that lens of a woman who needed help. We're trying to understand what happened and, and how she was feeling. And I just want the family and Lisa to know that, you know, we are not judging her, that we understand that things happen that we don't want to happen. As for Lisa Gibson's husband, the father of the children, he wasn't home when the incident occurred and is not considered to be a suspect. When contacted, a member of his family said he's doing about as well as anyone could expect. He's devastated. Cameron McIntosh, CBC News, Winnipeg.